the man in power for 23 years, the man who expanded Turkey's influence. This is the man who bought political and economical stability and the man who made Turkey a superpower. He is Rajab Tayyip Erdogan. Let's see how he rose to power. This is Dallas and you're watching The Rise of Erdogan. Erdogan was born on 26 February 1954 in a working class neighborhood of Istanbul. His early education took place in a religious Imam Hatib school, which played a significant role in shaping his religious outlook. Erdogan's political career began in 1970s when he joined the National Salvation Party, an Islamist political group. But it was interrupted by a military coup in 1980, which led to ban on all political parties. He eventually joined the Welfare Party, another Islamist party. In 1994, Erdogan's political career took a significant turn when he was elected the mayor of Istanbul. His tenure as mayor was marked by effective management and significant improvement in the city's infrastructure, earning him a reputation of an effective leader. But his career took another turn in 1998 when he was imprisoned for reciting an Islamic poem, showing the boundaries of a secular Turkey. After his release, Erdogan co-founded the Justice and Development Party in 2001. The AKP embraced both economic liberalism and social conservatism, and in 2002, they won the general election, making Erdogan the Prime Minister in 2003. His tenure as Prime Minister saw significant economic growth and political reforms. He implemented policies that reduced inflation, increased the GDP and attracted foreign investments. However, his time in office was also marked by an increase in centralization of power. During his time, Turkey also saw a transition to a social conservative country. Kamal Atatürk, the founder of Turkey, made it a secular state. But Erdogan changed many of his policies. For example, he made it hard to get alcohol. Mosques were no longer under state control, and he unbanned headscarves. In 2016, due to this reason, there was an attempted coup which failed. The army, even after all these changes, failed to get the public support. Erdogan asked the public to rally around him, and it worked. I want to encourage my people to the streets and invite them to the airports. And together, as people gather, show them by letting them come with their tanks to see what they are going to do. Do it right there to the people. You had people literally coming to the streets and fighting the army. All this made him more popular and powerful than ever. Today, Erdogan leadership is a subject of intense debate. His supporters praise him for transforming Turkey into a major economic and political player, while his critics accuse him for authoritarianism and eroding democratic institutions. He has faced many challenges, but despite that, Erdogan remains a dominant figure in Turkish politics. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more informative content.